it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to bring you my top natural remedies that ensure that your skin's looking the healthiest and it gives it that extra glow and nourishment that it needs. I personally believe that the less products you use on your skin and more healthy your skin's going to look. Personally, with my skincare, it's kept to a really, really bare minimum. I love to use these certain products on my skin day and night. And then a couple of these remedies I love to do every couple of weeks or every month just to ensure my skin has got that extra nourishment and extra glow. It's really nice to take good care of your skin um, and ensure that it's using the most natural products as possible, um, which will give you the best results. So the first natural remedy I wanna talk about is apple cider vinegar. I usually just use this, you know, whenever I do get major breakouts on my skin. Dabbing a little bit of this, I just use my fingers, or you can use a cotton pad or a cotton wool. Just using a good amount and dabbing it on the areas that pimples do arise um, right before bed. I find that I wake up in the morning and my pimple is pretty much clear. This is honestly an amazing, amazing product that simply just kills the bacteria off your face. Um, and this is also full of enzymes and really, really good bacteria, um, which is just a natural agent that really, really helps acne. Really, really recommend apple cider vinegar. You can literally just pick this up from the supermarket. Um, for like four dollars and it'll last you for such a long time so the second natural skin remedy I want to talk about is this soothing face mask which I have been using flat out for the past couple of months and it's seriously so amazing for your skin and it's so easy and so affordable to make you literally just need ingredients that are found in your kitchen to make this soothing face mask you're going to need two tablespoons of natural yogurt I just use natural Greek yogurt um, two tablespoons of rolled oats half a juice of a lemon um, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and simply all you do is just mix it all in a bowl and I like to let it sit for like at least five minutes just so it all um, mixes well together and just infuses really, really well. Um, and then, yeah, simply what I like to do is just apply it before I go to bed or I like to do it in the mornings on a day off. Um, you just simply apply it to your face all around, all around your face and I like to let it sit for 15 minutes and just by using natural ingredients that you can find in your pantry, they honestly just work really, really good for your skin. So I highly suggest trying out this soothing face mask. I like to do it maybe once a month or every couple of weeks, whenever, especially whenever I feel my skin needs that extra nourishment. Um, I love to do this and it's just it feels so good on the skin and it just leaves it feeling nice and soft and supple. So the next product I want to talk about is a product that I've been using consistently for the past six months and it has really improved my skin, the way it looks, um, especially with my redness. I have skin that is super, super red and I love to generally use this product right before I go to sleep. So this is the trusty rosehip oil and I like to use a certified organic rosehip oil. So this is the one I get which is the Springfields rosehip oil. Um, you can find these anywhere, in any pharmacy, supermarket, health food store, anywhere. Rosehip oil has literally just boomed lately and no wonder why because it really does work wonders for your skin. So organic rosehip oil contains essential fatty acids which really, really help generate um, skin cells for your skin. Um, so therefore you're replenishing your skin cells with such a beautiful oil um, and it just leaves your skin feeling super smooth and supple. I love to use this in my skincare routine and it's the last thing I do is add a drop of rosehip oil onto my skin and let that soak in. I like to let it, um, I like to fan it a little bit so it just sits into the skin. Um, so I pop that on right before I go to bed and it leaves my skin feeling amazing. Um, so yeah, this is such a great product. 
if this cost me around $20, but I know you can get rosehip oils for like $15, 10 to $15, but I love to invest in a really good organic rosehip oil. That way I know I'm getting the best of the best and it's really, really healthy my skin. So rosehip oil is full of vitamin A and full of so many antioxidants. Definitely recommend rosehip oil for your skin. Um, it is amazing. And last but not least, the last product I want to talk about is my trusty coconut oil this thing is like my life i love this so much that i'm showing you guys an empty bottle because <laughs> i've run out of it just this morning oh, coconut oil where do i even start coconut oil is literally life i got this from coles this is just a coles brand if it wants to focus probably doesn't so this is on organic extra virgin coconut oil from Coles and this tub was four dollars and it has literally lasted me like two months. I've I've gone through this like crazy and I use this every single day. So I incorporate this into my skin routine by using it as a makeup remover. So the first thing I love to do um, when I have a full face of makeup on is going with coconut oil, especially on the mascara, like it just wipes it away and it's amazing. Coconut oil is so Super versatile though it can be used as a makeup remover as a facial cleanser as a moisturizer um, can be left as a hair treatment for your hair it's a perfect gentle makeup remover um, and it also just sits on the skin really really well as a moisturizer I find that it really really hydrates my skin and sometimes I just like to put this on before bed instead of rosehip oil I tend to switch up both products um, depending on how my skin is just I'm such an all-rounder like I couldn't recommend this higher and it is so cheap and so affordable these days like this cost me four dollars and it has lasted me like two months like it's amazing make sure if you do go for a coconut oil you want to make sure it's unrefined and you want to make sure it's extra virgin and organic you don't want to go for a coconut oil that is like a cooking coconut oil because it's just not going to do anything for your skin you want to make sure that it's got the right properties um, to soothe your skin and to really really hydrate your skin and give it the nourishment that it really needs as well so guys that concludes the video so you guys definitely go try some of those products out they are super affordable you can literally get most of them in or all of them in your in the local supermarket always just remember to opt for the organic option that way you're giving your skin the best nourishment it can get i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll catch you guys soon